Hi and welcome to another section of the Greenfoot tutorial videos. What I'd like to show you today is how to set a background image um, in a project. So this is very much at the start of a project. I'm starting up Greenfoot now. So I'm again here, I start from scratch. I have nothing prepared. I assume I start with a completely blank screen. So here I've got um, completely empty Greenfoot frame and I start by making a new scenario and I call it background demo um, and save this. Um, at the beginning as you know we have here our world and actor super classes and we have no world object here created because we have no world class. I again start by making a subclass of the world and I call it my world. Okay, compiling this, we've seen that before, I get this small, completely white world. Um, and I've seen that I can here, in the world um, class, specify the size. Uh, let's say we are happy with a 10 pixel grid cell, uh, cell size in the grid. So remember the last um, parameter here is the cell size, but I don't want 20. 20 I want uh, something like uh, 40 by 30 cells so I put 40 cells width 30 cells height and each cell is 10 pixels um, big and I close this okay I've got my size now I want to get a picture into this um, there are various options I have uh, let's say the first one um, the first one is that I can just use an image file and I put an image file there as a background. The second option is to paint something in here directly and I'll show you both in two separate sections of this tutorial. The first in this section I'll talk about using image files. So The first thing is we have to get an image file. Uh, you can either do a search online, Google is your friend, um, or you can make one yourself and I'm using here Photoshop so I've just switched to Photoshop for my application here. You can use other graphics programs. There are free ones. GIMP is one that you can download free. Um, use whatever you have. I'm creating here a new file and I call it um, let's call it desert. I make a desert scene and I start with white color and my width um, I want a resolution 72 colors is the best for is the usual for screen display and let's say I have 400 by 300 pixels okay so I get here my image first thing I'll do is I draw a little scene here so I'll draw a few hills along there So let's say I have here um, a horizon. I take some color out here and fill my sky with blue. Uh, let's say I want, I don't want it too cartoon looking. I want slightly, um, not much. I, I'll keep a cartoon style, but slightly more um, uh, sort of variation. Let's say I put a gradient in here. So I'll select this. Um, Oh, let me start with a bit, bit darker version of blue and then take a gradient tool and put in here sort of a gradient of blue. So now it gets goes a bit more whitish towards the horizon. That is a, gives a bit of an impression of depth. Okay, and now I fill in my bottom. Uh, I should put my tolerance down here. Um, so select the bottom part and here select some kind of brownish um, color fairly ah, darkish brown yeah a bit darker okay and let's try out the gradient on this one here okay so I've got some got some brown here um, now the line here has been a bit Overdrawn. So let's renew the line and make it a bit thick, 
three pixels wide so I get a um, oops I didn't mean to do that I still have my brown color I wanted to make that black so proper black lines a proper cartoon look so I have here my horizon um, my mountain range here or dunes or whatever that is okay so here I've got my image now that's my background image for my project um, the one thing I've done is I have carefully chosen the size that I want I've set this here to 400 by 300 pixels because I had have decided in advance that this is the intended size of my project uh, when I save this now I get to choose um, which format I save it in um, Greenfoot supports a whole lot of different picture formats we could use a the composite GIF format, we could use JPEGs, we could use PNG files or TIFF files. Um, almost all the time uh, JPEG and PNG are the two formats to recommend. TIFF uh, is very good in quality but creates very large file sizes. Um, composite GIF is a proprietary format that carries license fees for producers so we try to avoid that. Um, JPEG pro uh, compresses really well so it's very good for large pictures. PNG has very good support for transparency. Um, so what I usually do is I use JPEGs for backgrounds and PNG files for all other objects. So in this case I use a JPEG, I don't need transparency and this gives me a nice small file and I call that desert and put that on my desktop here and save this. Okay, we don't need a lot of quality, there's no, not a great deal of detail in here. Okay, so I can close this and I have lying on my desktop here now um, my image that I've just created 